Hey, it's Joe Lyons. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I added the functionality of closing my, my braces or quotes and stuff. So if I put a left paren, notice the right paren is inserted for me. If I put in a quote, it, it a double quote, I should say, it uh, double quotes it. If I put in a single, oops, single quote, it'll close that. I have the uh, curly braces and bracket. So all of those, often when you type one, you want the other, right? So um, more often than not. And what's nice also is it's easy. If you only want a one, you have to delete it, but it's, it's not bad, right? It doesn't try to reinsert it, um, of course, unless you type it again. So how did I do this? Well, um, first off, there will be, um, there's three files you need. And let me put the, the path here. I'll put it in the link to the video on the website. Um, but I've, I've put them here. These three files are... Let's see, they're my Lua, so auto braces, auto close braces dot LUA, um, the class dot LUA, and common dot LUA. Now, I, I borrowed these from the AutoIt site because they also use site for, um, for AutoIt, and um, I did some minor tweaks. So after you copy the common class and auto close braces into your site directory, now notice here I have mine, I have a custom folder where I've moved my site directory to. But yours will probably be under where you've installed auto hotkey there's a site folder and you'd put them in there right and then you find your um user lua script dot lua so you open that file up and you need to add this code um which is gonna so so everything between here and here right is uh is the code that that does this let me move this down to here there we go so the first three, basically, my understanding is um, this will tell site when it opens to process this file, this file, and this file. And then from what I can tell, I, I just, I don't know Lua stuff and, and those things, but um, this is, if you don't include it, it won't work. And so this basically, I think, kicks off the function um, and begins to have the uh, events work. Um, this other one, if you're curious, I don't know if you've seen my video on the autocomplete from, uh, I think it was Lexicos, but it's pretty awesome and uh, can greatly aid typing uh, on the, the page you're on. So that's basically it. So just make sure that you, uh, you save it. You have to close and relaunch site, but it's that easy. And then once you do, basically anywhere, um, whether you're an auto hotkey or, or this is a Lua script or if I was an XML or whatever, it doesn't matter. It'll, um, it'll, close the braces and quotes for you. All right, thanks.